Jackal. And it's Shinto. And we are Nerds with the Cause. Okay, so give you guys a quick heads up. So, as you know, today is Sunday. Uh, it is a day late. I know we said we do it on Saturdays, but right. we're, we're actually recording this on Saturday. We're doing a different podcast. So, the podcast that was supposed to come on will be coming on uh, on Saturday, which is like the 20th or something, you know. Yeah. Because right now we're recording this, it's the 15th. Right. But there is a reason for that is because yesterday was February 14th. Um, and no, we're not talking about Valentine's Day. We're talking about, it, uh, we're calling it as our friend uh, Ash. Sh- Ash, Ashra, uh, shout out to her. Hey. Uh, <laughs> is she said it was Sonic Day. So I agree, it was Sonic Day yesterday. Yeah, it was definitely Sonic Day. Definitely Sonic Day. Yeah. Uh, so, went and saw... I know you saw it Thursday, right? Yeah, I saw it uh, a day early. Yeah, so... And we're actually talking about the Sonic the Hedgehog movie, okay? Now, we've already done part one, so this is part two, and this is mostly going to focus on... The video games. The and video the games and the movie. We right. are going to keep spoilers down to a minimum. Yeah, maybe like one or two. One or two, like, small ones. Small stuff, ones. Yeah, that you would expect. Um... So, I'm going to go ahead and... You uh, want to go from your point of view and then I'll do mine second? Yeah, th- that'll be fine. That's okay. A, yeah, however you want to do it. Let's do um, it. Grab my water. And I will never drink or slurp next to the uh, microphone. That's that just gross. <laughs> well, that's gross and that's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody who knows me knows when, when I hear that, like slurping and everything. Um, uh, priest, I know you're listening. Uh, I, I, I see red uh, when we hang out and everything. And yeah. But uh, so, went and saw it last night, both me and dad. Um, mm. As you know, when we saw the first trailer, I was really excited for the Sonic movie last yeah. year. See, yeah. I was too. And then when I saw the trailer, I'm like, what the mess is that you see the look on my face right now right yeah I mean, you, you got that weird like dirt like face <laughs> <going on. laughs> but um and then you know of course us all the fans like i've never like i remember writing on paramount's like youtube page i remember actually writing something on their twitter page i yeah. i don't do that like yeah. I, I i'm one of those like i will i don't I don't know if it's something in me, and there was like I, I start reading posts that night and everything, and then they did the change. Yeah, and then we saw, you know, I even st- showed mom the original trailer, mm-hmm. and she's like, Ugh. <laughs> and then then we saw the second trailer, right? And she said, I would go see that. Of course, she'll see it when we buy it on the DVD, Blu Ray, comic. right? Yeah, yeah. but uh, getting back into what I was saying, one with that redesign, in my opinion, it did help the movie because that. Horror design, as I'm called, the Hollywood design, whatever you want to call it. I don't know, I don't know what that was. Yeah, it's a trash fire. Uh, <laughs> oh. uh, yeah, th- that wouldn't have it, it, it wouldn't have made the movie feel like a Sonic movie. Nah, to me, it felt man, my nose is like acting up again. Yeah, it's acting up bad. It's because we went out earlier today, yeah. uh, picking you up and <laughs> bringing you here. Uh, it felt like a Sonic movie. It felt like I was watching the old cartoons. Now, I will say, spoiler-wise, it's not as dark as the Saturday morning cartoon was. Right. Um, and it kind of felt an in-between of Adventures with Sonic the Hedgehog and Sonic Underground mixed with a little Sonic X. Mm-hmm. Uh, I said it didn't have that same darkness. It did at one or two points with uh, with Jim Carrey's performance. Yeah. And I'll get into that here in a second. But overall, I thoroughly enjoyed the movie. Uh, I thought it was very much in a shout-out to the fans who grew up with Sonic. I mean, mm-hmm. played the video games, watched it, read the comics. Um, and that's something I, I give Paramount has my respect for, for listening to us on the design and seeing how it is, um, even when I seen the interviews with Jim Carrey, uh, is I think he realized because I know he was originally mad about us, the fans, being like, "Hey, this is a design," and you know the whole art, you know, artistic thing. But I think he realized after a while, and I could be wrong, mm-hmm. is that he saw how much the fans really loved Sonic and how much it actually really did have a following. Uh, I'm, I'm looking up some right now. Uh, it's a guy that I follow, 
and he's got something to do with the Sonic video games. He's actually the artist behind the version of Sonic that's in the movies. Right, be careful with your mic. Oh, well. and uh, he—that's what he was saying. That you know, he was looking at the original design that whoever else had did it, and he was like, mm, uh, "It's not Sonic." Okay, okay m move your hand. And yeah, because you, you're moving it again. I can hear it in my headphones. Oh. So the audience can hear it. <laughs> That's what I say. Be careful with your mic. Uh, and so um, when I found that out, I was like, oh, man. But uh, let me see if I try to pull his name up. Give me a couple seconds. Well, like I was saying, though, the the movie really was, you know, pretty much was pulling a lot more from the video games, like uh, the storyline and like the video games compared to... There it is, found it. Com uh, compared to um, like the TV shows or the, or, um, or the comic books. Yeah, because this guy's name is Tyson Hess. Uh, he did, he's the director of Sonic, Sonic, Mania, Sonic Mania Adventures, which is the, the, the cartoon short. And then he worked on like some of the Sonic Boom stuff and a couple of other, like pretty much anything Sonic he worked on. And I just started following him, uh, like Thursday, <laughs> Thursday night. Right. Now, but, um, if I remember correctly, um, besides the fact, you know, Paramount, when they released the first trailer, I think, wasn't Sega like really upset? Like the executives of Sega were upset. Yeah, they were, they were upset. It was just to the point that we're like, you know, we're, we're going to can this movie. We got to, no, they were, they were getting in touch with the guys that, you know, the designers were like, okay, we got to get this knocked out. This is not what we envisioned him to look like. So we had to get in touch with somebody else. This is kind of got in touch with uh, Tyson. And he was able to go in there and, you know, and put his spin on it. And then when he got finished, Sega was like, okay, this is it. Let's put it out. Right. Well, and, you know, that's the whole thing. It's like the, the people who worked on the the design, doing the animation, I mean, they're give, they're told what to do. They yep. don't. Uh, and I don't have any ill will towards them or anything. It's those little business executives that are like, oh, we, we got to make them look more humans to get to the human factor. Mm -hmm. You know, a.k.a. Godzilla, King of the Monsters was not good enough because there was not enough human factor in it. Okay, you don't know the series. All you care about is money. Okay, there, I said it. All right, but... Um... <clears throat> yeah, but other than that, um, like, I'm, I'm piggybacking on what you said about the whole, like, the, the whole movie, like we said earlier, it was a giant love letter to... From Sonic to the fans, and then it was a giant love love to, like, kids' movies, you know, family movies and stuff like that. Yeah, this is definitely something you can take your kids to go see. Yeah. Uh, they like Sonic and everything. It's uh, very family-friendly. There's a couple of times in the film that they, you know, They drop, like, fart jokes every now and then. Yeah. Maybe, and, like, once or twice. It ain't bad. Yeah, and... You know, Jim Carrey does an excellent performance. It's not vulgar or uh -uh. any way. And that was really something I noticed. There was no vulgarity that I can remember in that film. Yeah, I can't remember any anything like that either. In there, it was just you know, like it was it was just a fun movie. It was fast paced. You know, like it slowed down a little bit because you know they had the, the, the yeah they had that they had to the, get together and, and everything. Yeah, like well, not the conversation they had to build the bonding scene. Right, you right, know, right, right. Which was fun, but. The pace was good throughout the whole entire movie. Mm -hmm. It got more intense as it as it kept started. going. Yep, and it ended on a good note. Yeah, it did. Uh, I, you know, I remember now. You know, everyone who's seen the second trailer, you know, you saw Green Hill. Mm -hmm. You know, and then you know the first part. You know, the very first couple of scenes of the movie. This deals with Green Hill. This is the only thing I'm really. Uh, That's about it. Uh, so far, uh, spoilers. Yeah, and when you see all the designs of Green Hill, it's like, wow, this. Looks, this looks good. I yeah. mean, I, I would just. It was. It was like you could take. I'll give you a really good example. You could take uh, the design from Green, the, the 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 design of Green Hill from Sonic Generations, and put it next to that, and it is pretty much like a spitting image. Like it, it was that good, <coughs> if not even better. You know, I've not played Sonic Generations, and I actually have that. We gotta. We don't. We don't have to work on that. Oh yeah, but, uh, we work on that later. After we will. 
after I get through the 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 Strong Path Production uh, business meeting, which for people who don't know, I actually have I also have a production company. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I sure got later on. Yeah, we, we will play Son a little Sonic Generations. I think I got the only Sonic games I've not played that are in my in my library are. Mm. <coughs> Excuse me, I apologize. Is Sonic Generations, mm -hmm. Sonic Unleashed, okay, uh, Sonic and the Black Knight, okay, and Sonic Colors. See, I played. So, uh, let's see, I played one, two, three, Sonic Knuckles, Sonic Four, just a demo of Sonic Four though. Well, Sonic Four. Uh, I know it was download only. Yeah. And they only released two parts of it. It's supposed to be a three part, like, and they never finished the third one. Mm hmm. Which I think is when they came in with Sonic Mania, everybody was saying, like, from what I hear now, like, you know, Vern, it's like the last few years that basically Sonic Mania was supposed to be what Sonic 4 Part 3 was. Well, I would have loved to see like a finished product with Sonic Four mm -hmm. uh, and be able to get it because it looked to me it looked fun. I know it's not as fun as like Sonic Mania, which I have Sonic Mania Plus on my Switch. Yeah, I, I need to. I gotta. I gotta get that. Uh, I love it. DLC for if I can get Plus on my PS4. Yeah. But see, I might just not even worry about it and just keep Sonic Mania on my PS4 and just get it on my Switch just with Plus. Yeah, well, I mean that was one of my Christmas gifts like two years ago, and I've played you know a little bit here and there. It's it's it's, it's fun, but it can be hard. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's, it can it could be quite challenging because it's one boss that uh, I cannot fight. Uh, yeah. Uh, quick question: <laughs> You ever played Sonic CD? Yeah, I did. I actually had. Uh, it was funny. I went to like Sam's like years ago, and they had it on sale for like ten bucks, and I picked it up. Oh, well, I still have my copy. Uh. I think we talked about that in the last podcast too. About, mm -hmm. uh, I actually had it on PC though. That was the, that was the thing, and uh, it came with um, Sonic CD and Sonic R, which is that really crappy racing game. Oh, the crappy racing game that they put on so uh, on, on Sega Saturn and that yeah yeah. Yeah, it's called Sonic R. It only had like maybe like six or seven stages, and Green Hill was almost one. Yeah, um, <laughs> but. But it, he's, I, he's came a long way. I mean, from him being on Genesis all the way until, like, you know, like the the generation of consoles like PS3 and 360, and now he's on PS4 and Xbox One. Yeah. And, and now we got to look out for, we got to pay attention because, like, uh, at the beginning of, the, of this year, they had their Sega said that they were going to be doing some a lot of like different Sonic promotions, and on the twentieth they put out a a wallpaper and a mobile wallpaper for your you know a, a mobile wallpaper for your PC and a uh, no a mobile wallpaper for your phone excuse me and a PC wallpaper and it's on a like a gold background and it's got Sonic basically just reaching up for the ring like this you can't really see it, but he's like reaching up for the ring. But uh, other than that, um, they said to just you know just pay attention. Like every twentieth of uh, like every month, they're gonna be putting out more stuff. So we don't we don't know whether he's gonna come up with another game or what. But yeah, uh, I remember the last time they uh, a couple years ago they they had like their anniversary, like their, mm -hmm. I think it was their twenty fifth anniversary. Yeah, and see, like next year um, I think he's gonna be thirty. So yeah, next year's gonna be thirty. Yeah, because um, you know my my best friend, you know. Kai, you know, she got me that, that 20th anniversary stuff because you know, she had the press pass for E3. So Right. Hey, Kai. Yeah. Hey, hey twin. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, she got me that, and, you know, I got that, like, a 21st anniversary coin. Yeah, that was sick. Dude, I'm, I'm still I'm, jealous about you having it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we were friends then, but, I mean, we weren't as friends like we like we are now. Uh, right. Because I was still working at the gas station, so we, we when we got to hang out, it was, like, very, very rarely – uh, I'll, I'm trying to think, you know, I'm glad in it that in the movie, you know, they didn't mention the chaos emeralds. 
Yeah, I, I, and they, I, didn't, they didn't mention those. They didn't mention Metal Sonic, which I'm thinking. The, well, I think th- I think they're gonna lead up to that one probably in the second film. Yeah, I got a theory about that because I was gonna tell you about it last night, but I wanted to wait to the podcast. Yeah, uh, well, yeah, I could, dude, I wouldn't listen to it anyway because I got to the point where I turn my phone off at night, now. <laughs> and it's not because of you. It's because everyone like starts dinging like messages on on my dis- on my Discord I, pages. I usually just put put my uh, I always like before I cut my phone off for the night. I usually just put it on silent. Like yeah. on mute. I, I need to start this like put on that dis- do not disturb mode and stuff. Yeah, there you go. but um, yeah, I, I, I wish I'm glad. Like I said, it, to me, it felt like Sonic One. Yeah, that's the pretty video much game. what it was. It was Sonic One, the video game, the movie. <laughs> yeah, the video game, the movie. You know, minus the fact the little extra, you know, uh, you know, like you know, he had the robots. You know, he had his little. Ship, which I, I love. That ship design was so cool. Wasn't yes, it? it was. And oh my god. Um, I, I'm I'm getting a little nerdy right here, but you saw how the heat was flowing and everything. Yeah. I, uh, I have a theory on what that was. What do you think it was? Well, uh, I read an article this year, uh, this week, um, mm. that over in England, mm. I do believe. If anyone, if I am wrong, please correct me. That some guys created a new form of well. Uh, do you know what plasma is? Now, I'm, yeah. I'm not talking about plasma from your blood, but you know what plasma is, right? Heat plasma. Yeah. Okay. They're using plasma, uh, the theory that they come up with, they're going to use plasma to propel our spaceships. It will cut the time to Mars in half. Wow. That's like... That's pretty doggone cool. <laughs> if I remember correctly... I like that. I remember correctly, it was going to be like nine months to get to Mars on the normal way. Mm-hmm. Four and a half months. Are you serious? Yeah, so they're using plasma. Now, plasma is very, it's a very clean energy, you know, efficient energy to use. You, you can make plasma. Right. Yes, you need a nuclear reactor core. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I think that's something that they're working on, the, the, the downsizing. But to me, when I saw that, I was like, it had the same look as like it does with plasma. Mm-hmm. So Robotnik is, believe it or not, using a clean energy source. Yeah, he was. Uh, so this is not, you know, and I was like, okay, this is not, uh, you know, because... I almost said spoiler there. I almost pulled a Tom Holland instead of spoiler. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be very careful with that right now. Okay. Uh, the only thing I can say, um, and it's sort of like to the begin, like the beginning of the movie is the second uh, production company would be Sega. The way they did that Sega logo still sticks out of my head. No, no, no. Th- that was fine because I think they're going to use it for all the Sonic movies. Like, I the think be- they, I think they need to. But I'm saying like how they, the, how how they. Uh, how they made well, basically like, um, basically like how they represented Sonic Sonic in the Sega logo before they showed the Sega logo without saying Sega. Yeah, I, that I, was so cool. I was like, what? Yeah, and yeah, because I mean, it showed like all the games. You know, showed like yeah. the, the Game Boy, Game Gear, Ga- Genesis. It, it, you know, even so, I saw Sonic Adventure two on I there. I did too. I, I, on a sort of Sonic Adventure 2, I saw that, da, 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 and I'm not going to really sing the lyrics, because right. I'm like... No copyright. I, yeah, <laughs> I don't trust YouTube right now on the copyright uh, uh. part, but that was... Now, but did you see the logo, and I, th- this is a spoiler to let everybody know, and it's not a movie spoiler, okay? It's really doing like the... Did you notice it's like Sega original movies yeah you, I, it's like not movie it's, it said movies so more than one so Plural. my like my idea is like oh are, we might uh, gonna get a trilogy uh, out of this uh, are we gonna get more than one <laughs> are we gonna start getting like sega like genesis like movies you know because some of the properties that sega had back in the mm, day because you had sonic uh, altered beast, beast shinobi Shinobi be really good. Yeah, we'll Alter wait. Beast. That might be kind of tough. Oh. Maybe kind of tough. I don't it, know. That would, it, it, I would love to see it, but... Uh, it would be all TGI. It, it would have to be. Unless, yeah, hate, unless they did it... Unless they actually got like people who worked in like uh, the horror industry to do it. Yeah. Which, it could be done. I mm-hmm. mean... It could be done. Like, come on, dude. Some of our fellow well i can say fellow furry friends because i'm technically a furry uh i am a furry i'm not technically i am a furry i am uh, too i just don't uh have the suit <laughs> i'm more I, of a, I, i'm more of the the fan art type yeah well you know 
I want to get the suit, but I, I mine's not a traditional suit. But right. we'll talk about that one other day. Yeah. Uh, is, you can't tell that I'm not a furry because look, look, look I, I'm a red and black, you know, kitsune, you know. Right. Uh, people don't know, but I have three tails. I don't have none. All right. I'm, not, <laughs> I'm special like that. Uh, but where was I going with that? Because I got off on tangent. But you know, you can sit there. You know, you know, some of the cosplayers. They got techniques and everything. Even like some of the professionals are like, mm -hmm. "That's what I'm I know." I work in the industry. How did you do that? Teach me. Could you or, give me a job? Like a like a, could I could I shadow you? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's one reason why. You know, I mean, I, I wish they they would like get a practical effects on that. Oh, let's see, what's another uh, property? Streets of Rage. Definitely Streets of Rage. Rage. Um, let's see, what's another property they had? Um. Cause they have a bunch. Afterburner. That's the. That's like a, like a Top Gun type thing. Yeah, but it it, it would also depend on. Uh, but see, the thing is, we never we don't even see anybody inside the cockpit because it's always just. Yeah. Uh, and I'm, I'm trying to keep not not put that filler in there. Uh, uh. Right. Uh. Let's see what you know, the bad they... thing is though, I had the Sega Mini system and it has like all those Sega games. I hope they don't do Internal Champions because, <sighs> the, 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 yeah, well, yeah, we, we won't get into that. No. Uh, but you know, movies would be cool. Yeah. Now, but also you got to think that with the partnership with uh, Nintendo, which means there could be crossover stuff eventually with some of the Nintendo stuff. Yeah. And I, I, I liked what was the the meme that was going around Twitter. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, when they showed uh, Pikachu and then they showed um. Yeah, you know, the, the new design of Sonic. Finally, the Smash Brothers initiative has begun. Yeah, I saw that earlier <laughs> this like, week. I was oh, like, that's oh. pretty cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was like, mm. Yeah, it's just like I was uh, telling a buddy of mine because he didn't know that he didn't know that Mario was supposed to get another movie in the next two years. And I'm like, yeah, he's supposed to come. He's like, what? Oh, we'll have yeah. a whole thing on Mario Brothers. We'll get that knocked out probably the same year when it come out, whenever it does. <laughs> I, well, I think we'll talk about I think we'll talk about video game movies. Uh, we'll have a discussion on that. Yeah. Because there's some really good. There's some been some decent ones, and there's mm -hmm. some really really bad, bad ones. ones. <laughs> and uh, that that'd be a whole other uh, a whole, whole other podcast talk. We could probably do it for like Halloween or something. Um. Yeah, we can probably do that around like September or so, and then because Halloween, I I would want to talk like different horror movies. Like oh, I got a lot. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> we got a lot. We're going to have a lot of fun without me. Yeah, just because of the fact we're both big horror fans. Even yeah. though I don't really have much horror stuff hanging up in the, in here. I'm sorry. We'll fix that. Hey, now. Hey, now. Hey, now. <laughs> 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 fix that. <laughs> hey, hey. I got, I got my Turtles toys, my, my G.I. Joes, my Transformers. My Transformers. Uh, my, my anime stuff. His Pops. Yeah, my Pops. My Pop figures. My turtle stuff, my turtle, you know, yeah, so my comic books. I don't know where I can hang any horror stuff, uh, but I'm, I'm kind of hoping that there will be a second movie. I'm hoping it does good. I mean, because of the way... I know, I know, well, I, go ahead. Because of the way it, it ended. Oh, yeah, no. With, not with Robotnik, but the other person. Yeah, my My theory on that... You you can say theory, but but we wanted to, we want to try to keep spoilers down. Yeah, for right. two well, well two reasons. One, I want people to be able to want to go see it. Another thing is though, I don't want Paramount coming after us. Right. Because I know I know some companies are getting like very on spoilers, like spoilers, right. and then the next thing you know, it's like I got struck down by by YouTube. I wonder why. <laughs> you know? Which the studios do have a right to do that. Okay, but the theory of this, uh, this is what I was trying to tell you earlier before I got interrupted by... Uh, yeah, okay, okay, go, go, go. Was, uh, I think that the second movie is going to be dealing with... And I know a lot of you guys have probably played the movie, and probably played the video games and read the comics, so you probably just caught up. Probably got something to do with uh, Planet Mobius. I'm hoping that they... Yeah, I'm. I'm kind of hoping they sit there and they say that the area Sonic was in yeah. was a was part of Planet Mobius. Mm -hmm. Like he was in like the like the far reaches of Planet Mobius. It's like yeah, you, you, you realize like there's a whole planet, right? Yeah. Wait, I thought it was just a little island. No, it's a whole. It's plan. a whole planet. Yeah. Oh. It's almost like I don't want to put like Cybertron together with that, but it's almost like 
you know, with Transformers having Cybertron. Yeah. Uh, well, oh, man. I would still would love to have a Saturday morning, you know, the Sun Saturday morning mm -hmm. m movie. Of course, yeah. that movie had to be animated. I'm sorry. Uh, now, the voice actor for Sonic, I thought, did really good. His I, name is Ben Schwartz. He's also done BB-8 in the Star Wars movies. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, he did really, really good. He, he did really good. You can tell he loved doing this role. He's like, I get to be Sonic. I get to be Sonic. I am the third Sonic. Fourth Sonic. Yeah, I watched his um interview on YouTube, like, probably, I think it was like Monday this week earlier. And he was saying, like, how much how much fun he had. And, you know, he said he had, he had been playing Sonic since he was a kid. So, what uh, the he was, was just, that? That was your Mickey Mouse hat. That's on the mirror. It just turned sideways. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, Yeah, we had a, a, Dude, a, that, that, a hat that's... catastrophe over there in the corner. It shouldn't have done that. I know. There's no way it should have moved like that. I gotta fix that. Yeah. If it moves again, oh, I, we uh, might need to uh, move either move the office or sage the office. <laughs> move the office. The only other place to move is my room, and I'm not. Uh uh. Uh uh. <laughs> uh uh. Okay, we gotta sage the office now. Gotta get some sage and burn it, just a little bit. Yeah, but um, that's that's pretty much what he said. That he loved the character, and he was glad that he got able to play him and he said he had been loving Sonic ever since he was a kid so I was like that's pretty doggone cool because he definitely brought Sonic to life and I was really proud to see my blue blur blue blur buddy on the screen did you get it I just said it on the uh, Birmingham Baron uh, hold on I just said it on the uh, the, the old Birmingham Baron's uh, little flyer thing okay if it if it pops up and moves, I'm out of here. <laughs> yep. Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. And I'll blame Priest. It'll be Priest's fault. Yeah, we gotta blame Priest for everything. <laughs> He'll be on the podcast eventually, everybody. Uh, yeah. Uh, he, he's a friend of ours. He's also my martial arts student. Yep. Uh, but Jim Carrey did good. Like I was. He did. I was really surprised. And we got, for some of you guys who don't know, I grew up watching Jim Carrey, okay? I watched him on In Living Color. I watched, uh, I like The Mask, the uh, movie. I liked Liar Liar. Uh, there's a couple other, other films that I liked him in. Um, I did not like Dumb and Dumber, and I did not like Ace Ventura Pet Detective. <laughs> I just didn't. I'm, I'm sorry. I've seen them. I just couldn't get into them. Um... And some of his other films have always been hit and miss, and I know the past couple of years he's gotten very much, like, I, I, I don't know, I, I I guess they said he went through a spiritual awakening or anything. Usually when I hear somebody has a spiritual weight in Hollywood, I was like, okay, they flipped out. Yeah. And, uh, I... You know, and I know he's highly intelligent. Yeah, he, I mean, he's not stupid. Okay? He's really cool, yeah. He, but, uh... I know he got into some, you know, I guess the political scene and everything. So I just, mm. I just like dropped him. I'm, I will tell you this, like I've thoroughly enjoyed his performance in this film. Yeah. And it, I was like, that's the Jim Carrey. I remember he, he was over the top, but he wasn't oh like. He wouldn't, he wouldn't like to, he, he didn't, he, he sold this performance, but he didn't like oversell it. You know and he put mean? his own twist on it. Right. And he probably did, I know he did some research on it. Yeah, on, yeah, uh, too. Uh, probably watched like the cartoons and whatnot. But yeah. But he did a fantastic, fantastic job. job. Great job. Now that first scene that he, he's in, I, I'm just like, oh I want to punch him. I, it's like, I, I, I would just want to punch him. He was being a complete jerk until <laughs> he first popped up. Oh, yeah, I know. Cutting no. that guy off when he was trying to talk to him. I'm in charge. I'm, I'm sitting there like, you I was like, okay. Ass. Yeah, yeah, I agree. You know what? I felt like, man, I know why, you know, now I think, I don't know why. Because there's people in the cosmic community just like that. Yeah. And I'm like, God, Jim, um, mm. yeah. But he did a really, really good job with the film. I, I know he'll be back for the second one. Yeah, he's got to be back. He's got to be back. Be. Uh, I know they had to make, and I, I know I keep switching around because I'm trying to 
dang, we've only got 30 minutes. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I actually thought it was like 40 or 50 minutes now. Uh, I'm working on that. I'm going to get that uh, out of out of the podcast, everybody, okay? I know I'm uh, real He's bad. working on it. Uh, What's that? It's all right. I know. Everybody, when I get going, I have kind of a nervous tick on that because my mind is going so fast. Yeah, so that's how mine is when, I'm, when I got to talk. It's like I got, I got, I'm on topic, but then it's like I got to talk to everything else. <laughs> then hop back on topic and stay on topic the whole time. Bingo. I know they had to make $5 million to cover the cost of the redesign. I yeah. know that for a fact because mm-hmm. it cost them $5 million. So I know they made their $5 million within probably the first two or three hours. Yeah, they had to because uh, I think it was up to... Uh, just like Thursday night. Because mm-hmm. I think right now they're shooting and they say it's going to be around like $55 million, which is beating Birds of Prey, which I'm not going to get into Birds of Prey, okay, because I have... I have not seen the movie yet, but I'll, my honest opinion, I'm just not excited to see it like I was Suicide Squad. Uh, and I don't know, it's hard for me to explain, but, uh, <clears throat> gotta work on that, I'm gonna be so conscious of that from now on. And I have a little raspy voice, everybody, so that's the reason why I keep stopping also to get something to drink. Yep. Yeah, uh, what are they saying that it's gonna be... It's going to gross around, what, 55? Let's see. Sonic the Hedgehog runs, and this is coming from Deadline.com. Sonic the Hedgehog runs faster with the four-day of 64 million plus. That's not bad for a February release. Mm-mm. That's not bad at all. Mm, it's not bad at all. It really ain't. Wow. Let's see. And I think, you know, one thing I've noticed is everyone has been promoting it like crazy on Facebook and Twitter. Like anytime I see a sponsored thing, mm-hmm. I'm always like responding to it, you know, love the movie, thought it was really good. Like dude, I just yeah, showing your support cuz that was I did that earlier uh when I got back home, I, you know, I put up a little slight little review on I don't Facebook. Know, I don't know what the Rotten Tomatoes score is on it. I can but, look at it real quick. But I know like when I saw it before me and Dad went to the movies, hmm. the fan uh, score was like 95%. Let me check on that real quick. Let me and remember, this. they did the same thing with Godzilla, remember? Because when we went and saw Godzilla, remember how they were like bashing it? And mm-hmm. when we got done you know, seeing Godzilla you know, for your birthday, yeah, yeah, it's like a 64% right now on Rotten Tomatoes. It is 95%. The audience loves it. Right. And everybody... You know, I'm sorry. I, I don't trust Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, I don't either. I don't trust any credits when it comes to video games or movies. My my thing is, if you like it, it's okay go support to, it. It's okay to express your opinion, but the sister says oh, this is atrocity because you know it doesn't have this or this. You know, they're, they're not actors. Or, you, know, <laughs> you know, I'm an actor and everything. You know, I was in Broadway, and where are you now? You know, you, you know, I see good Broadway people, you know, making great films, and you know, they, they make fun films. You know, Hugh Jackman, for example, you know, he he did Broadway, and yeah, he uh, did. He he's made it. he's made some good popcorn films, and he's made some really good films. You mm-hmm. know, he makes some, you know, he does a combination of stuff. Right. Love to meet him one day. See, yeah, no, that's real. <laughs> uh, and then just because he's Wolverine, I mean, he just Wolverine, bub. <laughs> it's the only. Pro- it's he's probably so tired right. of that right now. He's like, yeah. Oh. Uh, you know, he, he, he knows he's going to be branded for the rest of his life. Yeah, I did see a, vi- uh, a video of him. I think he was in, like, Germany or somewhere right there. And he was doing, uh, it was like, I think he was on Broadway doing a show. And he had a fan that was in front uh, in front row. And he just took his he took his, uh, his drumsticks and whatever he was, like, you know, posing with. He was starting doing a Wolverine pose and screaming <laughs> and... Oh, he has fun with it, yeah. Now, here's a quick question, a uh, quick X-Men fact. Do you know he cut himself, you know how he's got that like that little scar like on one side of his, like, near his mm-hmm. eyebrows? He cut himself with the claws uh, training for X-Men. Wow. The first one. Yeah. Okay. That's, I think that was an interview. I could imagine it, but I think I got to double check now. Mm-hmm. Uh, but getting back on Sonic. Right. Uh, I, I'm really surprised there wasn't like a big video game. Like, but they could also be waiting either for summer or. Uh, They're doing something. They got some up their sleeve. 
I mean, because we've got, let me see what's the day, the 15th. So we got five more days to find out what it is. Yeah. And, you know, I don't expect them to be a lot of sales of of Sonic toys because Sonic toys is never really, like, sold real big. You know, like the pl- like like the, the stuffed animal plushie thing. Yeah, plushies, yeah. Yeah, like those always sell really good, but mm-hmm. like toys wise, nah, n- n- not because not not in the states as as far as I know. No, not in the states. Over like in a- Asia, that mm-hmm. that's totally different. Yeah, they they, they got a whole like a, a bigger like uh, outcry or you know bigger out output for stuff like that. Yeah, so. we, we we care more about football. Over here, uh, <laughs> I'm glad so many football fans come after me. <laughs> yeah. I do, but my question is for the second movie: Who are they going to bring in? You know, and yeah. like you just had Sonic and you had Robotnik, where there's really the only characters that were in the movie from, like, like that you would recognize. Everyone, right. everyone else was like a new character. Which, you know, the new character, the little, you know, like the, the sheriff guy, mm-hmm. he was good. He was good. He, I was he, surprised. I don't think I've ever seen him in anything else. He did really good. He was That was the guy that played uh, Cyclops in X-Men. Are you serious? Yes, James Marsh that was, was Cyclops. No. Yup. I no. Gotta, yeah. All right, no, you got to look that up. No, I will. No, I'm telling no. you, that's who it is. Look it up right now. I will. <laughs> but I'm telling you, that's who it is. That's that's James Marston is Cyclops. Give me one minute. Minutes up. I oh, know. <laughs> no. Yep. Maybe it was because he didn't have the Cyclops glasses on. <laughs> he had them on for like a couple of seconds. Well, I didn't see it because there was so much happening. Well, you know. Let's see. Filmography. Yep. Let me see. Let, first, let, let. It was in the first X Men movie. Scott Summers and Cyclops. And you see everything else he's been in. Yep, he was the original Cyclops. Okay. All right. Okay. All right then. Facts are proven. <laughs> His first performance was No Desert, No Desert Dad Till You Mow the Lawn. No Desert Dad Till You Mow the Lawn. Hmm. He was in Public Enemies too. Huh. Uh, that was a director video thing. Can't right. prior tells. Yeah, so it looks like X Men was his first major role, huh? Right. Did not know that. He's mm-hmm. a good actor. Yeah. Like, uh, the girl who played his wife, she did good. Yeah. I didn't. I don't know. She seemed a little stiff to me. Like, eh, I, I see what you're saying. She was. She did like. She did good acting, but it was in certain parts who it was just like. No, the girl who played now the girl who played her sister. Oh no, she was they, spot on. They, oh, I, I loved her to death. Oh, she did excellent. Like, uh-uh, uh-uh. No, no, I was like, oh man, I, she, she. I mean, she's a hoot in real life. Now yeah. I'm not saying that the actress who played his uh, his wife was 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 not good, but to me, I felt like she, she, and I understand on certain scenes, but I felt like I don't know. I felt to me. Just in my opinion, mm-hmm. I didn't feel like she was fully comfortable with the role or something, or she was mm. trying to come across like I'm mad at you, but I'm not, you know. Yeah. I, I don't know. Well, uh, yeah. I mean, she did a good job though. She really did. Yeah, she did a really good job. I'm like, I'm, I'm proud of the whole cast, even Sonic. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh no, I'm. Proud everybody of, did a good I, job. No, everybody who did on, on the Sonic movie. Uh, you know, thank you, you know, from the bottom of our hearts because we appreciate you a lot. That was th- that, that, that was, was that that yeah. To me, as somebody who grew up in the '90s, you know, seeing a property that we loved and everything get that type of love, and mm-hmm. if that, you know, I kind of wish that the Power Ranger movie got that type of love. Yeah, you know, which I actually like the Lionsgate Power Ranger movie. I did too. Everyone's like, "Oh, it's not this and everything." It's like, I, I, it's like you guys don't understand. This is the first film. Support it, and we'll get some really, really cool films. You know, because the second one would have came out what at the end of because originally the second one was going to come out la- last year. Mm-hmm. It would have been so, and 
Because then they, what happened? Did they, did they scrap it or? They scrapped it. Uh, uh, they, they said it didn't do good, good enough at the box office, you know. And it's partially because, you know, people who were like saying thing bashing about Sonic and everything. You got mm-hmm. too many people who sit there and won't give anything a chance, you right. know. They like to be in the past and not live outside the box. <laughs> you know, I haven't seen the Michael Bay Turtle films, but, you know, I do. I own the first one on DVD and I got. I've, I've seen the. Uh, uh, the first and the second one. The second one wasn't too bad. Like they actually they brought in B Rock from Rock City. I know that. They look so. They they did a whoever did that animation and the uh, the voices for that show for the for the movie was great. Then something else. I apologize by the way. Yeah. You, you you'll get a whiff of it here in a second. I'm sorry. Hello. <laughs> 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 Pardon oh. us. <laughs> what? Pardon us. Oh, dude, I'm sorry. But, oh. Rick. Oh, it's Rick. <laughs> dude, I'm sorry. Automatic smoke bomb. <laughs> oh, do I, need, do I need to go get the air freshener? Nah, I'm good right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, yeah, I'm sorry. I, I let a smoke bomb out. Uh, <laughs> but, like I said... Paramount and all the people that worked on it. Uh, if any of you guys are listening on this, you know, you know, I, from from a fan, thank you. Yeah, and thanks, I, man. Like we, we were looking for that. I was looking for it to have since I was a kid, and I can't tell you how many times I was like, I like I lost my mom. She was like, "Well, how's the movie?" I said, "It was great," but I cried. She was like, "You cried over what?" I was like, "Mom, have you ever been like been in a situation where you, like you grew up with something?" And it finally came to a movie screen or came to a sitting near you in a concert. You mm. understand. <laughs> you know, I was like, uh, you know, I finally got to see, uh, what's well, about two years ago. Mm. Uh, it was a one night show when like, me and dad got to go see Transformers, the animated movie, the original oh, movie. I remember when that came out to theaters and I did not get a chance to go see it. No. I, Last time I saw it, it was um, it was on cable. Somebody, it was a, it was like one of those like you know, adult cable channels, like Cinemax or something. And yeah. it came on. And I saw it, saw it in, in its entirety. I was like, wow. So that's what happened. Yeah, like I said, we got because that movie was dark. I was like, dang. Yeah, that, that movie was dark too. And that that is one of those movies that you need to see if it comes on the big. You need to see it on the big screen. It is. Yeah. It is worth it. Yeah. Uh the only thing I think would have been cool was Sonic, mm-hmm. and this is just me personally, if it could have been an IMAX 3D. That, See, I said that to another friend of mine, because I asked him, I said... Uh, it was only standard edition. They only, he said they only had it in 2D. I was like, man, they would have had an IMAX, that would have been awesome. IMAX 3D? Oh, <sighs> man. Like him going through the... Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I, uh, and this is getting into the cinematography aspect of it. I love how they went from the first person view on certain points. Yeah, I noticed that too. That was cool. But it also showed the fact is that when he was, that yeah, I fit only something. I was another time. Uh, no, we're good right now. We're almost at forty-five minutes. Okay. So, you know, when it showed that the world slowed down, it's like okay, mm-hmm. so that's the reason why he can do all this because the world pretty much slows down for him. Let me tell you something else. Remember that scene in um, what X Men movie was that with Quicksilver when he did that? Yeah, but I, it, it was. But yeah. it, it, it sort of like it was sort of sort of like that. I was like, wait a minute, whoa! Yeah, it had that of, but Sonic was better than Quicksilver. Yeah. So I was like, like the, don't get me wrong. The second time when Quicksilver did it in Age of Apocalypse, mm-hmm. that was cool. That the, was awesome. The first one was, was like, okay. He was, just, he was just trying to get his feet wet. <laughs> right. but, but Sonic just took it. He just took it a whole other level. Uh, hold on, yeah, so, uh, he was having fun with it and mm-hmm. everything. And everything. Poof. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, did you get the chili dog reference? Yeah. He goes, "Oh, I think I ate something. Oh, I think it was those chili dogs." Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I knew you were gonna bring that up because I had I had that on my mind. I was like, "He gonna they're gonna probably bring the chili dog reference in." You know, my mom was actually thinking about having chili tonight, and I was just like, "We got hot dogs." I was like, "No, no, don't do that." <laughs> we have spaghetti tonight. Yeah. Uh, uh, but <sighs> yeah, uh, I, 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 I've. I'm third. I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm ho- I can't 
I'm looking forward to that coming out on DVD Blu-ray. I, yeah. I, if it has I'm going to gonna probably get a... I'm probably going to end up buying that twice. And I usually don't do that for movies. But with that, I'm going to probably get the standard edition from Walmart and then go to Target and get a special edition. Yeah, I know. You know they're going to probably do a special edition at Target and Best Buy. So. Oh, definitely, definitely. And I, I'm with you on that one. Yeah. That's, that's worth it. I mean, that's our childhood. That's our current hood. Because, you know, we still come out with stuff. Yeah. So, you know, there's that. And it kind of, you know, I wish, you know, right now that, you know, I had, like, you know, kids I could take out to go yeah. see it, you know. But right now, you know, single because relationships have not been working out right, uh, recently just because the fact is that, I don't know. <laughs> and it ain't because of my geekiness either because they, they, they all love my geekiness. And I'll yeah. be all of this stuff for another day. Yeah. Uh, but like I said, you know, get, you know, yesterday to me was Sonic Day was mm-hmm. not. Valentine's Day. For a single awareness the day. day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Itching in my eye, my eyes are really itching right now. So, let everybody know is that next week, uh, well, Saturday, you know, next Saturday, coming Saturday, whenever, we'll be back on our regular schedule. Yeah. We'll, uh, I'll be pulling out the podcast from last week that we already have pre recorded because yep. I'm going to edit this and try to uh, get this ready up for here on Sunday. If it's Sunday, then hey! There you, you go. Know, I'm going to do that while we're playing video games tonight. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Coming up in the next couple of months, just to let everybody know, uh, we will be at Huntsville Pop Culture Festival. That's right. Which is April 18th. 18th, 19th. Eight, yeah, we're just going to be there for one day. Yeah, 18th. Yeah. Uh, I will be dressed in my new Iron Fist outfit. I'll be taking pictures of everybody. You know, I'll see you in costumes. I'm yeah. going to meet some of the celebrities. We're going to try to see if we can get some podcast stuff set up with some people. Yeah. Cause, that's, that's our goal. You know, better yeah, yeah, I'm going to bring all, and have fun. I'm going to bring all the equipment and have it, you know, in the car just in case. Right. You know, if we're able to do, you know, like a you know, 10, 15 minute podcast, you know, hey, yeah. I'll, 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 I'll take the 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, we did that live. That'd be good. So, you know. Well, live would mean would be the fact is it's also going on the internet at the same time. Yeah. I'd be like, okay, this will be up like, this will be up tomorrow, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then. I mean, like, it'll it'll be like our first time doing that. So, yeah. You know, well, I mean. It's, it's trial and error. We're just we're trying to out. out. Right. But the biggest thing is though, the difference between like with us and some of the other people is like, I know they, they like go through their laptop to do a recorder and everything. Or I got, I got, uh, I got this recorder device right here mm-hmm. so we can get it out. Fast. I have to go and I have to edit it. Yeah. But the, we, we had a recordings out. We, we, yeah. We don't, I don't have out. to carry the laptop around right. and do all that. Yeah. Uh, Cause you know, I, you know, if we had a boost set up, I might. We might look into doing doing that, but yeah, we'll, we'll, I, that would have to be down the road because I would have to buy a separate laptop mm-hmm. just for that. Right. Uh, and right now, I, I don't have a thousand dollars for a good laptop like yeah, that. Yeah, and I can't be looking my um my PC around. <laughs> no, we ain't looking at look, uh uh-uh. That thing is uh-uh. too. That thing is too pretty. I mean, I, I I was thinking about uh, cause it's, it's actually a gaming PC. Yeah. But see, I can record and everything else on it. I just got to go in there and and buy a. Do my mic and stuff and yeah. graphics card, and I'm thinking about getting that because uh, they have a week put a handle on top of it to get right. it around. So I might do that. That's, that's gonna be like like down the road though. Uh, let's see. I'm I'm trying to think of anything. I don't think anything's coming up in March for us. I, I know we're gonna. So. Be, uh, I know I'm gonna be doing a lot of working on a lot of cosplay stuff and working on some film stuff. Um, yeah, I gotta get to my cosplay buddy because uh, he's. Contacted me about a uh, Star Wars cartoon, and I was hoping to try to premiere it um, during the expo for you know for Huntsville, but I think if I go to which I'll probably end up doing this, going to um, our city cosplay day. On... I'm not going to that because the, the where it's being held like just at the time it's just you know that's just me. Uh, yeah. Because I think isn't that the same weekend as, uh, as Free Comic Book Day? I have to double check. I can check. I, like well, I said, we'll I'm sorry. I, 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 I walked away from the. I mean, if you go to it, that's fine. I, yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna go to that one. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I don't think anything happened in March. Well, we got the Cherry Blossom Festival at the Botanical Gardens. Yeah. Uh, but that's just that, that's just that's just a go hangout thing there. Um, New Mutants yeah, comes New Mutants out in April. April. I'm let me on. Check I'm, the, let me double check the date on that real quick. 
and then we'll have a review on that one. And of course, everybody let y'all know we will do a review on Black Widow because yep. I'm thoroughly looking forward to that movie and Black Widow and Wonder Woman. Yeah, and then Mutants comes out April third. Okay, uh, let's see, let's see. So that's only the, that's the next two movies I can think of. Yeah, oh no, no, I take that back. My Hero Academia is at the end of the month. Right. Yep. The second movie, mm-hmm. and I think I'm gonna go see that on Wednesday. Hmm. Uh, that's just due to the fact is that's when the dub is, and I'd rather watch it in dub because I want to support the dub actors and actresses that work on it. Yeah, I'll probably have and to. And I, I like I I'll, I do listen to it in sub. But yeah. I, when I go to a movie, I prefer not to, have to read the subtitles because there's so much going on. Yeah, with that, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait till the Blu-ray because I got to pick up the first one because I hadn't seen the first movie either. So I'll pick it up, and hopefully they'll, buy it up, they'll have a, a, like a combo pack with both of them in it. So, yeah. uh, we just watched the, the first one last week. Hmm. It's really, really good. I heard it was. Uh, so with that said, everybody, you know we're about to cut it out. Yep. We will have some different topics coming up pretty soon. I know one topic we are going to have, uh, it will come out probably next, probably at the end of the month, is I will be recording because next week the first two episodes of Thundercats Roar premiere on Cartoon Network. And it'll be so that'll be thirty minutes. I'm going to record them so I can watch them and make my full analysis on it. Oh my goodness! Yeah, um, and yeah. And Jack was over here. You looking, know what? Jack was like, you know what? I don't know if I want to be here when that happens. No, the thing is, we don't need to bring that up to like to to um to the guy that voices. No, we really don't. That's no, that's a, that's no, no, a, that's no, no, a no, taboo. No, but no uh, and that's the whole thing. Is if he asks us for our opinion. I said, I don't like it. I yeah. said, I'm sorry, I can't get into it. Right. Uh, because I think he does do, do a voice in it. Mm-hmm. But that's that's my opinion. I'm not, you know, I, I, I'll, I'll say my, but I'm not going to sit there and tell, tell the actor who, you know, I grew up listening to Lino if he yeah. did a voice in it. And he said, do you like it? No, I'm sorry. I, I can't right. get into it. You know, and, you know, if we have... I said I had my opinions on it and everything. I'm not gonna sit there and go and bash him and everything. It's yeah. like it's, if the if the creator of Thundercats War was like right there at Pop Culture Festival, which mm-hmm. which will get enough bash. I'm not gonna go bash him, okay? Right. And he, 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 he's he, gonna be like, did, did you like it? I'll sit there and say, dude, no, mm-hmm. no. I, I'm, being, I'm being perfectly honest with you. Right. I, d- I don't like it. And <laughs> I sit there and said, yeah, I've had a heated discussion on my podcast. You know, which it will that will be a heated discussion, everybody. Yeah. Um. It's gonna be. A, it's probably gonna end up being a three parter or a two parter. <laughs> Not even that. It might be a one parter. I'm just gonna probably rant the whole time. <laughs> and then, cause you know we could like we just, we talk about that. Yeah. So, but no, I, I I agree. I agree. So, but that'll be a podcast coming up on there. I am. I can't remember what the last podcast was. I don't know. It'll be coming out next Saturday, everybody. So yep. it is Sunday morning or. Midday for all of y'all. Yep. If you have not seen the Sonic the Hedgehog movie, please, please go, go see it. Yes, go see it. They'll show them support. Let's get that movie at number one this weekend. Let's have it at least two to three weeks in a row because I don't think any other movies are coming out here pretty soon. No, they're not. No, they're not. Okay, so as before, everybody, uh, uh, description. Um, let's go and thank some people real quick. I want to thank uh, J Blue Wolf Two Blue. Uh, for doing the artwork for the uh, for the intro, yeah, appreciate and, that, man. Yeah, and then doing my little headshot on the side because that's a that's a totally different commission I got from him. Right. Um, we'll be getting some more artists to do stuff for us in the future. Mm-hmm. I'll link to the mu- to the intro music is in the description. It's a uh, copyright free royalty, you know, so you can use it. Cool. Uh, we're gonna do another shout out to our friends in Aniana, Alabama. I the gamer, and you know if you love video games, every you know they got video games from old to new there. You know if you're in Aniana, Alabama, Alabama, and if you need any accessories, go check them out. They're on Facebook. I yeah. the gamer. Yeah. So that's. I, I can't read it from here. I'll, I'll let you. I'll let you spell it out. I D A G A M E R, and you can also find us on Facebook, everybody. Uh, Nerds with the cause. cause. You can find us on Facebook. Uh, you can find me on. Uh, you can find me on Facebook also at uh, Shinto, 
Shiranu cosplay. Hmm. Uh, if you guys want to get a hold of me there, you can guys see what I look like. Um, you can also find me. You can find me on Instagram, Shinto underscore Shiranu, and that'll be it. Uh, That's it. So with that, everybody, have a wonderful day. I will see you around. I am J Rock, and I am Shinto, and we are out. Peace. <laughs>